What is pure math, really? Even though some people might say that it's the language that the universe is written in, at its core, pure math studies mathematical concepts which are independent of any application. Applied math, for example, is driven by solving practical problems, like in physics and engineering. But pure math is by pure curiosity. Sometimes you can't really know if what you are studying in pure math will ever be practical and useful for our daily lives. So then we are forced into the question, what kinds of things does pure math study? Well, first of all, the foundations of pure mathematics can be grouped into major areas like algebra, geometry, number theory, analysis, and topology. Each of these studies all kinds of different concepts. But here's the thing. Over time, the lines between these areas have blurred, and mathematicians have to get ideas from multiple fields to solve problems. The amount of things you can study in pure math is really huge. Some mathematicians focus on logic and set theory, which is the absolute base of mathematical thought that focuses on how any subject can be built from a small collection of axioms. Other mathematicians go for abstract algebra, with infinite dimensional Lie algebras, universal algebra, or some aspects of something called homological algebra. Then there is algebraic topology, which studies properties of space that remain unchanged under continuous deformations, and it uses very abstract tools like homotopy and cohomology. We can go on forever with this. The point is that a lot of pure math has concepts that, at least currently, are Unapplicable, a very interesting field I would like to point out, sometimes considered the purest of the pure math fields, is number theory. Number theory is all about properties of numbers, especially integers. Concepts like primes, congruence, Diophantin equations, and so on, are part of what interests mathematicians, not because they are very applicable, but often because they have beauty, depth, and many unsolved problems to explore. Although, ironically, even though number theory is considered to be one of the lesser applied fields, it's actually hugely important in modern cryptography. Anyway, not every branch of pure mathematics finds applications, and that's okay. Pure math often starts with no usefulness at all. It's developed just out of intellectual curiosity. Mathematicians ask themselves, what if we define this structure? Or what properties would follow if we accepted this new axiom? And from that, entire fields can emerge. These new fields sometimes remain nothing but theoretical curiosities for centuries before anyone finds any real-world application for them, if they ever do. So that raises a big philosophical question. Why do it at all? Sure, we can't really predict what is going to be useful in the future, but we have some ideas that appear to be very useless for the real world. Like, how can we ever apply the fact that the boy's surface is homeomorphically equivalent to the real projective plane? which is something that I studied in my master's, by the way. Or what's the point of finding out how many primes there are? Or why would we ever need to prove the Goldback conjecture, which says that every even integer greater than two is the sum of two primes? I mean, why would humanity ever need that? Let's have Sophia answer this. Well, the thing is, mathematicians don't always agree on what exactly is the purpose of pure math. For some, it's just about a fundamental, logical truth that's completely independent of the physical world. For others, it's about the elegance of proof. So beauty. It is always incredible to know exactly how and why an idea just kind of fits into place. And there's even debate about what it means for something to be true in mathematics. Because if we're honest, mathematical truths do depend on the axioms that we initially started with. Basically, if we change the rules, we end up changing the universe we're working in. So can you even say that pure math is something real? Well, that depends on your philosophy of math. Are mathematical objects discovered or are they invented? So can it be possible that they are just a creation of the human mind? Whatever your opinion may be on this, we can't deny the fact that math gives us the tools to study these objects, wherever it is that they come from. This is not even the mentioning the fact that even the most abstract math can find its way into the world. Complex numbers, non-Euclidean geometry, group theory, all of these and others were at some point seen as useless in the real world. But today you can't get by without them. Still, we need to remember that the value of pure math isn't measure on how useful it is or not in the real world. If we were to narrow it down, it's probably fair to say that the heart of pure math lies in studying truth itself. That is more fundamental than anything else. So 
if next time you hear anyone saying that math is only useful for bankers or engineers, and I mean, clearly this person that's asking you this question hasn't studied math, remind them that pure math is pretty much the root of all ideas through logic and structure. So even if it won't lead you anywhere practical, you'll definitely be led somewhere that's beautiful. So let us know what you guys think about all of this in the comment section. We're curious to know your opinion on this. If you'd like to be the first to receive updates about new courses and books, sign up with your email address on our website. Link in the description. If you like this video, I'm sure you're going to love this one. See you guys there.